Welcome back to Introduction to Programming using C++. This is our second video on string functions. Uh, previous video was on the str len and this video is going to be on str cpy which stands for a string copy. So if we want to copy a string, a literal string or some variable string into another string, uh, what we need to do is actually use a function called string copy. Uh, unfortunately, you cannot, once you initialize a string when you declare it, you cannot reassign the string again or you get a syntax error. For example, if I have name and then I try to initialize it by doing the following, I cannot do that. Uh, I would have to you this is where you would use a string copy function so that if you wanted to copy some string into name you can use the string copy function and it will do it for you so this is not syntactically correct the only time you can do that is when we declare it and then we can initialize it at the same time so how does the string function work so the string function takes two parameters the first parameter is going to be the variable name which you want your string to be copied in to. So we can say that this is the destination. Okay. And then the second parameter is going to be your source. So you want to copy this string into a variable called name. The second parameter could be a variable or a string literal. The first parameter must be a variable name it must be a variable name okay so if we do the following and I do I'm declaring a variable called name with 25 bytes and then I want to copy this string into name so when I write out my variable it will say John step so if I compile and run this you will see that it does say John step okay now if I want to copy a string which is a variable not a string literal because here we're copying a string literal here's another example so what I did is I declared a variable called some string and I initialize it to John Doe okay and I can do that when I declare I can also initialize a string it's only when after I declare I cannot assign any string because it's a syntax error it doesn't allow you to do that so here we were we will copy the contents of whatever is in some string and copy it into my variable called name uh, and if I do that then name will have the output of John Doe it will have the value of John Doe so if I do that compile and run there you see it's John Doe okay it's John Doe uh, and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. It's basically use a function that is used for you to copy strings in case you need to a, a placeholder or you need to hold on to a string in another variable because you may be doing some changes to the current string. Uh, so this is a good function to have in your toolbox when you're dealing with character string arrays. Okay. Uh, Thanks for listening to me in this lecture. Uh, I will see you in the next lecture where I will go, where I will go into uh, str cat, which stands for string concatenate. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always see me, my new content on www.parttimeadjunct.com or you can email me at parttimeadjunct.gmail.com. Thanks for watching. Happy programming.